Right now at 5, preparing for the worst. UW-La Crosse announces resources to protect students from overdose. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Amy is off. Opioid deaths are on the rise and the potency of synthetic opioids like fentanyl make overdoses even more likely. One area university wants to be prepared if an opioid epidemic reaches its campus. And Dua Israr joins us now with the details. Good evening, Dua. Ken, 13 boxes around UWL's campus will hold two doses of Narcan and a CPR mask. The university says while opioids are not a large presence on campus, it wants students to be prepared just in case. In a partnership with Wisconsin Voices of Recovery, UWL will have 36 doses of Narcan around campus. According to the Center for Disease Control, in 2020, more than 91,000 people died from drug overdoses. 1,200 were Wisconsinites. In recent years, drug overdoses have increased in La Crosse County. Chief of Police at UWL, Allen Hill, says as deadly opioids become common, the university wants its students to have the resources to stop an overdose. Fentanyl is being laced with all kinds of drugs now, and that is a possibility that could happen here. So um, we want to make sure we have every safety measure in place. Each time a student takes a box out of the takes a box of Narcan out of out of the recovery thing, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Voices of Recovery will be alerted through a sensor. The organization will then work with university officials to refill the box. Hill says many students and staff believe making Narcan easily available is a step towards educating students about the dangers of opioids. Now, while the sensor alerts Voices of Recovery a box has been opened, the boxes are not monitored by university officials. Hill says he wants students to use Narcan if they need it without any fear. All right, thanks very much, Dua. UWL joins several Wisconsin universities in this effort. UWL Claire had installed 19 of these boxes back in September, and UW Milwaukee has them in all of their residential housing lobbies. Well, a nice mild fall day. Let's get a look at the latest forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Graw. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, high temperatures ranging from about 57 to 61 degrees. I can actually update that number out at the La Crosse Airport to 60, 60 in Sparta, 60 in Eau Claire, and 61 in Winona. Uh, hard pressed to find a cloud anywhere across the tri-state area. Skies are crystal clear and uh, temperatures still 59 in La Crosse and Eau Claire, 61 in Winona, 60 in Sparta, and 59 in Prairie du Chien. If you're heading to one of the uh, high school football games tonight, clear, seasonable temperatures, kickoff time, 7 o'clock temps right around 51 degrees, dropping to about 46 by the fourth quarter. Winds fairly light from the south southeast at about 5 to 10. Otherwise, mainly clear overnight, seasonably cool once again, lows between 30 and 40 degrees, depending on your exact location, 38 the low here in La Crosse. And check out this uh, pre-Halloween October weekend, 64 tomorrow, 62 on Sunday, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, kind of a mix of sun and clouds on Sunday. Uh, pretty nice conditions for late October. Next week is looking quite mild as well. My eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. All right, thanks very much, Bill. Well, a 15-year-old is in custody after firing a gun during a standoff with police last night. According to the Monroe County Sheriff, police were called to a house in rural Toma for a teenager with a gun. Officers say the teen fired that gun before and after they got to the house. A bullet hit a neighboring house. A crisis negotiation team and other tactical teams talked to the teen for several hours before deciding to pepper spray the house. The teen then surrendered and was taken into custody. A West Salem teenager is in critical condition after a car crash on Monday. According to the State Patrol report, 16-year-old Zoe Coder was driving on I-90 when she lost control of her car and crossed the median. Her car hit a pickup truck head-on going the other direction. The report says it was raining at the time and roads were wet. The driver of the pickup truck was not injured. According to social media, Coder is involved in athletics at West Salem, serving as a manager for the West Salem Bangor wrestling team. The midterms are just over a week away, and on Alaska voters can expect to see two questions on their ballots addressing the needs of the school district of Onalaska. One referendum addresses the operational needs of the district, asking voters to approve a revenue increase for the next five years. The district superintendent said they had to change plans this school year because federal funds were not enough to get by. The budgetary needs that's created through the state uh, funding for public education has created a need to go to the local residents to ask permission for operational referendums simply to maintain existing programming. 
This isn't the first time Onalaska has voted on an operational referendum. Residents have approved similar ones since 2006. The second referendum is a capital referendum. Its goal is to help cover the cost of several building projects using up to $75 million. $25 million will go to improving parts of the high school, like making restrooms and locker rooms more accessible. $50 million will go to expanding the middle school and give students a place to go when the bell rings at the end of the day. A successful referendum would allow us to move forward with finalizing uh, a partnership with the Boys and Girls Club, which would put a fully functioning club in the middle school to serve uh, students in the district. As of now, there is no Boys and Girls Club in Onalaska. Kids need to travel to La Crosse, Holman, or West Salem to go to a Boys and Girls Club. If you'd like to hear more about the changes that would occur if either referendum passes, you can head to news8000.com for more information. Ballot spoiling, which allows voters who already submitted an absentee ballot to void it and then vote again, is now not allowed in the state of Wisconsin. A state appeals court yesterday decided to not hear an appeal of a Waukesha County Circuit Court judge's ruling in favor of a conservative group. The bipartisan Wisconsin Elections Commission had an emergency meeting today and unanimously voted to take back ballot spoiling guidance to clerks. Wisconsin voters have submitted more than 490,000 absentee ballots so far. Former U.S. President Barack Obama is hitting the campaign trail to show his support for political campaigns across the nation. He hopes to do something he couldn't do while he was in the Oval Office, help Democrats succeed in the midterms with a Democratic president in the White House. Obama, a popular figure for the Democratic Party, will visit battleground states including Georgia, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Advisors say his central message will be protecting democracy and election integrity. New health data says flu hospitalization rates are at a 10-year high. According to the CDC, there have been at least 880,000 illnesses, nearly 7,000 hospitalizations, and 360 deaths from the flu in the United States so far this season. Doctors say getting your flu shot is still the best way to protect yourself, and the best time to do it is now. A reminder that safety is part of the fun. This year, 17 Wisconsinites have died in ATV and UTV crashes. Most were not wearing seat belts or helmets, even though they can dramatically reduce the chance of injury. Kids 12 and older are legally allowed to use ATVs, and kids 16 and older can ride UTVs. Because of this, Wisconsin DNR officials say it's important for adults to be good role models. The kids ultimately are gonna, you know, follow what their, their adults are doing, what their parents are doing, their aunts and uncles, the people they're out there recreating with. Um, so setting that good example of safe operation, uh, being respectful to you know, the trail and the people around you. Webster says it's also important to wear other protective gear like long pants and sleeves, eye protection and gloves, and to use the same caution as you would driving a car. Drive at safe speeds, never drive under the influence of alcohol and other drugs. The La Crosse area is getting a head start on embracing the season of giving with an annual tradition. The La Crosse JCs are dropping off their donation barrels across town for Toys for Tots. This effort supplies toys each year to around 1,200 kids in La Crosse County and La Crescent. They're asking the community for gently used toys to help spread holiday cheer to families in need. Anything you feel like giving us, we would accept gladly, but we really need um, like athletic balls, um, arts and crafts stuff always goes really fast, Legos, Barbies, um, those, those are kind of the hot ticket items. Over 100 barrels are located throughout La Crosse, including one right here in our News 8 lobby. Family registration for Toys for Tots starts on Tuesday. We'll have a link with more information at news8000.com. Coming up tonight, a violent attack. An investigation is now underway after a home invader assaults the Speaker of the House's husband. It's Ford SUV season. Time to gear up for changing conditions on and off-road. Get great deals on our most capable lineup of Ford SUVs, including Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Both rated 2022 IIHS top safety picks and both designed to give you greater confidence. Hurry, Ford SUV season will end soon. Now, for a limited time, get $500 retail order bonus cash on a 2022 Ford Explorer and Bronco Sport. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Coming from the Midwest, we know that winter can chill to the bones. Menards has all the heating options to combat those cold months. Need heat wherever you are? Check out our endless options of space heaters. Want something for a cozy living space? Pick up one of our many fireplaces. Job sites? Home? We have your back. Menards has heating options for whatever situation you need it for and get 11% off it all. Save big money at Menards. 
As an Army commander, I serve God, family, and country. But the media, they say none of that matters anymore. When I was nine years old, my dad handed me a shovel and put me to work. Nowadays, people get paid to sit on the couch. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm not some career politician. I'm a self-made businessman who doesn't give a rip about the special interests or their money. I'm running for governor to turn Madison upside down and take back the freedoms that make Wisconsin great. Tim Michaels for governor. Under Tony Evers and Joe Biden, it's been bad, but it's going to get much worse because winter is coming. That's right. Reports are saying natural gas heating bills are going up by 28%. Inflation has already caused pain at the pump. Grocery checkout on rent. But this fall, there's still time to stop the winter pain by voting no on Tony Evers before he makes it even worse, if that's possible. To everyone who craves a fresh meal, come have a taste of Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. As in real dairy. It gives Culver's fresh frozen custard its famous rich and creamy flavor. Like really rich. So rich. Rich and creamy. And our cook to order butter burgers? They're topped with, you guessed it, Wisconsin cheese. But it's the smiles we put on your face with every meal made just for you. It really makes our hearts melt. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. Nice. <laughs> You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was violently assaulted in the family's San Francisco home today. As Michael George reports, 82-year-old Paul Pelosi is expected to recover from the attack as investigators search for a motive. A hammer-wielding intruder broke into the home of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi early Friday morning, brutally assaulting her husband, Paul. A source tells CBS News the attacker was shouting, where is Nancy? Our officers observed Mr. Pelosi and the suspect both holding a hammer. The suspect pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently assaulted him with it. Sources told the Associated Press Paul Pelosi was severely beaten with the hammer, causing blunt force trauma to the head and body. He's being treated for injuries including bruising and severe swelling, but is expected to make a full recovery. Police say the suspect, now in custody, was also taken to the hospital. The suspect has been identified as 42-year-old David DePepe. Mr. DePepe will be booked at the San Francisco County Jail on the following charges. Attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, burglary, and several, several other additional felonies. Investigators are trying to determine whether the attack was politically motivated. The Democratic speaker, who is the second in the line of succession to the presidency, was in Washington when the attack happened. The break-in is raising questions about the safety of not only members of Congress, but also their families, during a time when threats to lawmakers are at an all-time high. Paul Pelosi is an investor and lives mainly on the West Coast, but often joins the speaker for formal events. The White House says President Biden called the speaker to offer his support and said he condemns all violence. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And a law enforcement source confirmed the suspect had planned to tie up Paul Pelosi and to wait for Speaker Pelosi to return home. Still to come this evening, safety tips for trick-or-treaters. La Crosse PD says you should keep a few things in mind for everyone's favorite spooky day. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Dry and mild weather in store for the next several days. All the details of my eight-day forecast after the break. Radical Tim Michaels is extremely divisive. I don't care who I offend. And at his company, the culture comes from the top. Multiple court filings say women were sexually assaulted, harassed, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. If she refused demands for sex, she would be blackballed from working on a pipeline job. Higher-ups dismissed the women as liars and fired those who spoke out. I don't care who I offend. That's how Tim Michaels runs his company. Don't let him run our state. Sofas, sectionals, recliners, even bedroom and dining room. They're all on sale now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Best of all, there's no delay. We've been stocking our most popular styles in our warehouse all summer. That means you don't have to wait to get the furniture you've always wanted. You'll find incredible values from some of our best brands like Smith Brothers, Canal Dover, and Lazy Boy. Hurry in now for the biggest selection. Shop Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. I see your hard work. 
everything you do to try to make it. But people continue to be left behind. I'm running for Senate to put more money in your pocket. Ron Johnson's had 12 years to make things better, but costs are still rising. And all he's managed to do is write a tax cut for himself. I believe better is possible. I believe hard work can pay off, and I'll never stop fighting until it does. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. A new day has dawned on the all-new Maury's, Audi, and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Feel the luxury of Maury's Audi as soon as you enter the new state-of-the-art Audi dealership. Audi technology and style incorporated into Maury's La Crosse Audi sales and service. Maury's Volkswagen La Crosse features an upbeat, high-tech atmosphere. Having service done, enjoy our relaxing lounge as you wait. Come experience excellence at the new and improved Volkswagen of La Crosse. New building, new location, same friendly staff. Maury's Audi and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Inflation's eating up all our savings. Ugh, our home value is plummeting. Yet Biden and Mandela Barnes support a massive tax increase on middle-class families. Are you kidding? Now Barnes supports hiring an army of IRS agents to audit working families. Who needs that headache? How about Barnes starts worrying about paying his own taxes? Wisconsin Truth Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. With Halloween a few days away, La Crosse Police want to remind both trick-or-treaters and drivers to be extra aware. Recommended trick-or-treating hours in La Crosse are 4 to 8 p.m. on Monday. To keep kids visible, officers recommend putting reflective tape on costumes or attaching glow sticks to clothing or even their treat buckets. And for people a bit older looking to celebrate downtown, police are reminding everyone to come prepared. Um, don't drink too much, don't overindulge, make sure you know where you're at. Again, stay in those groups, groups of friends. Uh, don't leave someone behind. Um, even like your cell phones, make sure those batteries are fully charged. Officers are also asking drivers to drive slowly through neighborhoods and those downtown areas. And of course, the weather is shaping up to look pretty nice for those trick-or-treaters and downtown goers on Monday. Let's go to Bill with the latest. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, any outdoor plans this weekend uh, looking fantastic weather-wise as well. And that includes this evening for those uh, prep football games or any other plans you might have this evening. It's going to be seasonable uh, for this time of year. And uh, crystal clear sky, as you can see there, 60 was the high today, 38 the low. So slightly above that average high of 56, 75 and 17 are the records. And uh, no rainfall once again. 59 degrees here at the station and out at the airport with that sunshine. Winds out of the south at 5 and the Mississippi holding steady 5 0.06 feet. Also 59 and sunny in Eau Claire and the Chippewa River holding steady as well. Uh, current temperatures again very pleasant for this time of year all the way from the front range of the Rockies through the northern and central plains into the Great Lakes. Temperatures primarily in the 50s and 60s. Now locally a uh, couple spots still at 60 degrees. Black River Falls and Boscobel. Uh, most everyone else has dropped into the mid to upper 50s but again we're still at 59 degrees in the cross. A little bit of a south breeze at about 5 to 10 miles per hour so uh, not to overly strong by any stretch. Skies are currently clear. Really going to expand the view to show you just how quiet things are thanks to high pressure over the Great Basin, another one over the North Central Plains, and another one over the Eastern Great Lakes. We've got this storm system over the Southern Plains, and that's going to bypass us well to the south and east. So I've also expanded the view of Sky Tracker to show you just how quiet it is. We've got some clouds well to our north, but clear tonight. Plenty of sunshine again for our Saturday. Now here come some of the clouds with that system pi uh, passing by to the south. Uh, so just a few more clouds in play as we head into the day on Sunday. But notice how any green or rain chances remains well to our south and east. So I am expecting a dry weekend uh, in our neck of the woods. Now tomorrow, warmer, lower to middle 60s for highs, right around 64, maybe even 65 degrees in the La Crosse area. And that's going to be uniform all across the region. Pretty much uh, all 65 of our communities on our zone forecast looking at highs between about 62 and 67 degrees. And for uh, late October, uh, those are pretty nice conditions. So for tonight, mainly clear, seasonably cool. Lows drop to about 38 in La Crosse, similar to last night. For tomorrow, mostly sunny and milder. 64 south winds, 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles per hour in spots. 
And uh, again, check out this dry, mild, very quiet stretch of weather. Sunday, 62. Again, a few more clouds. Uh, Halloween Monday, still dry, 63. And then quite mild. Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, mid to upper 60s for highs. And then in advance of an approaching storm system, the winds start to crank up on Wednesday and Thursday, but a south wind at first. That's why it's still going to stay mild. Looks like the rain chance will hold off until Thursday night into Friday. Looks like the best chance of rain right now. Again, it's a week away. We'll keep an eye on it. Maybe some lingering showers next Saturday. Cooler as well. Highs drop back to about 50 degrees. But uh, boy, until then, enjoy this mild stretch. It's that time of year where we need to enjoy numbers like this because you know it's not going to last forever. So true. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Up next, remembering a rock and roll icon. We'll have a look back on the career of the late Jerry Lee Lewis. Fall Home Show going on now at the Ford Store. Visit today and see what's new and get your $250 discount coupon. Register for prizes and visit with designers. Hope to see you soon. More than 300 murders just last year. Terror at the Waukesha Christmas Parade. But defund the police radical Mandela Barnes still supports eliminating cash bail, releasing dangerous criminals back into our communities. Barnes says... Reducing prison population is now sexy. Actually, releasing criminals isn't sexy. It's dangerous. Radical Mandela Barnes won't keep your family safe. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. The power to change your future is now. The new F-150 is here. Be one of the first to drive the latest, most advanced, best-selling truck for the last 45 years. Custom order your F-150 today. Now, lock in $500 retail order bonus cash on an all-new 2023 Ford F-150. Don't wait. Get to your Northland Ford dealers today. Lanes Farm and Fleet's Fall Workwear event is going on now. We're your one-stop shop for quality boots and apparel, offering fair and honest prices on workwear to help your hard-earned dollars go further. Right now, get $25 in Carhartt bucks for every $125 you spend on Carhartt gear, including new colors of men's and women's Carhartt pocket tees and hooded logo sweatshirts. Plus, save on men's work and sport thermal base layers, starting at just $16.99. Find value at Lanes Farm and Fleet. The Cooley region has been good to me and my family, and I wanted to give something back. That's why I ran for the State Assembly. And I've tried to do good things in Madison for the people of Western Wisconsin. Wisconsin is facing a lot of problems today, and we need people who understand how things work. Right now, Wisconsin has a $5 billion surplus. With that surplus, we need to cut taxes. We need to fix our roads, and we need to fund our schools, and we need to do that now. The talk's trick-or-treat transformation. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Whatever daddy wants. <laughs> Next, E.T. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Rock and roll pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis died this morning at his home in Memphis, Tennessee. Bradley Blackburn takes a look back at his life and legacy. Jerry Lee Lewis said Elvis opened the door for him, but few could argue Lewis then kicked the door down, performing into his 80s. Actor Dennis Quaid brought Lewis's fire to the screen in 1989. Fast fingers pounding the piano, working young crowds into a frenzy. No bench required. Lewis was born in Faraday, Louisiana, the cousin of TV evangelist Jimmy Swaggart. He learned to play the piano as a boy. At age 16, he headed to Bible college, planning to be a piano-playing preacher, but was kicked out for playing, quote, the wrong kind of music. His private life often mirrored the chaos he brought to the stage, and his career nearly ended when he married his 13-year-old cousin. She later accused him of physical and mental cruelty that nearly drove her to suicide. Lewis battled drug and alcohol abuse, lost two children in tragic accidents, and was married seven times. In the 60s, he reinvented himself as a country performer and over the decades teamed up with some of the music industry's greatest stars, including Ray Charles, Little Richard, Chuck Berry, and Fats Domino. Fats is one of the better piano players I've ever heard, really, and uh, really a real gentleman. He won three Grammys and in his later years still attracted an audience. Do you still kick over the stool? Yeah. Get up and throw it if I have to. 
<laughs> the music legend never missing the chance to give a memorable performance. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. All right, Bill's got a last look at your weekend forecast when we come back. They found my sister's head in a wood burning stove, her body in a cornfield, murdered by her own husband. The judge called it the most heinous crime he'd ever seen, and the killer was sent to jail for life. But Tony Evers' parole commission set him free, and they didn't even tell us. Under Evers, hundreds of other violent criminals have been released early. It makes no sense. Governor Evers, everyone in Wisconsin is less safe because of you. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get $500 cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Plus, current Chevy owners can get an additional $2,500 cash allowance. Plus, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. I'm gonna get you! Stop chasing your sister! Making things better is kind of your thing. But when Medicare has you stumped, it's hard to know how to make it better. Maybe I can help. Security Health Plan. Medicare coverage you want, value you need, service you love. This is fentanyl, so dangerous that one pill kills. They make it in China, smuggle it through Mexico, across our border that Joe Biden surrendered to cartels and gangs. Brad Path backs Biden's open border agenda 100%. Fentanyl killed 1,200 people last year in Wisconsin alone. Now every town is a border town. Path won't stop the drugs, so we have to stop Brad Path. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. It's a common statement when people visit our showroom. I had no idea it was so big. Come and see windows, doors, siding and sunrooms, kitchens, bathrooms and flooring during the fall home show at the board store. Lowest prices of the season. All you need for the life you lead, interior or exterior modeling, see it all at our 2022 Fall Home Show. Lowest prices of the season, only in October, only at the board store. 2022 Fall Home Show at the board store. Madison insider and career politician Steve Doyle, completely out of touch. Under Doyle's failed leadership, soaring inflation, high gas prices, rising crime, and party bosses and insiders are funneling over half a million dollars to keep Doyle in power, answering to them, not us. It's time for change. Ryan Hipsch, born and raised here in the Cooley region. Ryan is a fresh voice who will always put our communities first, not the Madison insiders. Ryan Hipsch for assembly. On this Friday night, we go on the road to meet a high school student who's stepping up and demanding better. The CBS Evening News is now just minutes away. A very pleasant Friday evening underway. Uh, crystal clear sky there. Temperatures still in the low to mid 50s uh, will gradually drop into the 30s overnight, right around 38 for low in the cross. 64 tomorrow, lots of sunshine. 62 on Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds. And still in the 60s through next week, including dry for Halloween. A chance of rain later in the week, Thursday night into Friday, eventually cooler by the following weekend. All right. Thanks so much, Bill. And thank you for joining us tonight at 5. We appreciate it. We hope to see you again at 6.